What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the house call where I, your host, Dr. Red Tangle, talk about any casual subject that pops into my mind and I bring it to all of you while I'm on the road. And today's subject is none other than the new Ghostbusters movie trailer that dropped a couple of days ago. So let's talk about it. Now, as we all know, I'm a connoisseur of films. I like film. I like the original Ghostbusters. I like the sequel. And what was Ghostbusters 3? What was it going to bring to the table? What new dynamic impact was it going to bring to the franchise? Was it going to be a proper reinstallment? Or was it going to be a truly faithful sequel that's going to bring new breaths of fresh air, revitalizing the series and allowing us to actually enjoy the Ghostbusters in a new light? Unfortunately, upon looking at this trailer, what I saw wasn't Ghostbusters. What I saw was three white people who are the genius scientists and the token black person that can make jokes like, I'm going to slap you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, hell no. And I got a Cadillac. Regardless of what the Cadillac make or model may be, I have a Cadillac is the joke. Black person, Cadillac is the joke. Okay. I mean, these are jokes that I would expect from movies like Haunted House or any scary movie that came after two or date movie. Or, you know, all those weird stupid parodies or Fifty Shades of Black, you know, those type of parody films, not something that's supposed to be a faithful reinstallment or extra installment, a sequel to the Ghostbusters franchise being the next installment that's going to be the new wave and the next wave of Ghostbusters. Like, this just seems like a parody film more than an actual Ghostbusters. And, and people will bring up. But wasn't Ghostbusters kind of like a parody on, you know, horror films and how they're all crazy with their monsters and things of that nature? And yes. But when you look at the trailer for this Ghostbusters movie, they're repeating a lot of the same things that you saw in the original movies. Like, oh, I don't know, having the giant monster walking through the city, although instead of it being the Pillsbury Doughboy, it looked like Uncle Sam. So I don't really know what you want to do about that. But, uh, you know... Good, good things are coming to us. I mean, good things are happening, I suppose, in the film. Um, once again, the black character is just kind of like, oh, hell no, and the things of that nature. But when you look at that actress and you look at all the movies she's been in, for the most part, that's been her role in a lot of these comedy movies she plays in. Therefore, by proxy, this is nothing new. This isn't adding something to our repertoire that we haven't seen before. This is just standard affair playing it very close to the chest stuff which I'll be honest with you, I'm not really a fan of because, you know, if it's Ghostbusters, I'm expecting it to be more dynamic, more up to speed, more up to date, more in touch with what its roots were. And from that standpoint, I just feel as though the trailer in and of itself let me down. And that, that does not mean the movie is going to be bad. Listen, Fuck nigga, you. you can't handle all Fuck of this. Twice. That's cool. Take your black crickety yes, ass off. Fuck you. Done. Your shit do stink, nigga. It stank. Your homeboy tripping. Nah, he's I don't sick. know. <laughs> But the jokes that they told in the trailer, like, I didn't chuckle, I didn't laugh, I didn't, like, smile. And normally when a trailer comes out, it's its job to give you a little bit of its best moments, not to spoil the film, but to give you some of the best, like, oh, man, I have to go see this movie because blank. Oh man, this character is really in touch with the source material. Therefore, I should go see Blank because they did Blank and they showed and proved something to me in the trailer. That's typically what a trailer's job is supposed to do. It's supposed to be the appetizer to get your chops wet so you're ready to dig into the full course meal that is the cinema at movie ticket price. You know, that's what a trailer is supposed to do. It's supposed to entice you into spending your monetary gains to have the ability to go see the film. And this trailer didn't have any juice to me. And the reason why I say that is, if this was the exact same trailer with four men, right? Let's be honest. The people who are championing this trailer would have nothing to say because it's just four men, run of the mill, same old, same old. As of right now, the only dynamic and really gripping thing that you could say about this movie is that it's four women. And that's fine, that's progressive, that's moving forward. I champion that type of stuff, I like that. But if you're gonna have four, I just wish they got something better. I expected more. I wish they got more oomph. I wish they could really pack it, not just be, we're four girls doing what men normally do and that's the joke. And that's what's supposed to grip you. And that's supposed to be 
the new era, I mean, if you're gonna introduce me to a new era of something, I just hope that that new era could bring some new substance of their own volition, like of their own weight, so you know, they could stand on figuratively their own two feet, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm gonna take this, look, I'm sorry, truck, I'm sorry. We all got life decisions we gotta make over here, you know? We, we all gotta do certain, certain things. But, you know how that goes. But yeah, tell me what you guys think about the Ghostbusters 3 trailer. Do you guys like it? Do you guys have some of the same faults and issues and problems and dilemmas that I had with it? Is there something that I missed? Because it seems right now the only positive that you could say is that it's four women who are the main leads of the movie, which is not something that you see very common in the sci-fi genre in any capacity, whether it's comedic or not. So you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm your host, Dr. Rectango, and I can't wait to do another one of these videos. I'll catch you guys at that time, and looks like we're getting breakfast at Dunkin' Donuts, baby! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo!